Okay everybody, it's Budgecast 12 again, and today I'm going to show you how to make a wire mod hydraulic door using Expression 2. Um, so this door you can use for pretty much anything. It's really cool. Um, it's a nice little door, it's convenient, and all that. So, what you're going to need is wire mod and the Phoenix Storms model pack, which pretty much everybody has now. So, go ahead and spawn a 1x2 plate, and uh, put it slightly off the ground, not all the way touching, but just slightly. Like, that's good. And then, what you want to do is stack it, um, so if there's four plates, doesn't matter which direction, but they can't go up or down, they have to go side, or s side to side. So, you want to have freeze and no collide checked. Do not have any of these things, just freeze and no collide. Same thing for regular stacker. Freeze and no collide only. Then, uh, you want to spawn a plate to put your control system on, like your uh, hydraulic and your E2. Okay, so go into wire mod. And hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Now, um, back to this the video, we are going to go to wire physics, go to hydraulic. Now, make sure width of zero fixed is checked. Let's see. Well, I'm just going to use a normal size model. It doesn't matter what model you use, but if you want to check, uh, you want to go from there to there. So, from top left corner to top left corner then spawn your controller uh, go from bottom left corner to bottom left corner and spawn a controller there and do the same thing over here it has to be on these two corners though or else it'll glitch out pretty bad and uh... let's see on the bottom alright so now that you have your hydraulic placed, next thing you want to do is place your buttons. Now, the button model you use really doesn't matter, it's up to you, but I'm going to use start and stop, just because. Go ahead and place those anywhere on the side panels, though, not on the doors that slide open. Let's go ahead and place those there. On the other side, get some. Alright, so... Now that your buttons are placed, go into Control, and then Expression 2. And once you're in the Expression 2 editor, right-click to open the editor. And um, I'm going to write the E2 in the description. So you can go ahead and copy that in from the description. I'll show you how to do that later, too. Or I'll put it in the description as well, how to transfer this into the wire Expression 2 folder so that it's already there and you don't have to do anything because that's what I did with this E2 this uh, turret so yeah alright so you have a hydraulic door E2 you can name it whatever well I'm just gonna put it in the description go ahead and spawn that anywhere now what you wanna do is wire it now we're going to wire the length to H on the hydraulic uh, E2 now that you have that done, you go ahead and uh, you're going to wire A to the outside open button. You're going to wire B to the outside closed button. Now we can go ahead and move this over here. What the hell? Alright. Now, you want to take A1, wire to the inside closed button, and B1 to the outside, er, inside closed button. So, now everything is wired up, you can go ahead and, uh, I'm just going to make sure this is all no collided. Alright, you can go ahead and unfreeze your doors and they should slide open automatically, and then you press the button to close. They open, and then the same thing on this side. They close and open. So, yeah. That was just, uh, how to make a wire hydraulic door. It's pretty simple and effective. It's really cool. You can use it for, uh, any any sort of fort
in a video that I will upload later, you will see that I have uh, this hydraulic door system, but for multiple doors. So you can use it multiple times, if, like spawn multiple of these. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that was that. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe for more tutorials in the future and more fort videos and all that stuff. And um, I will be posting another video later today. I probably will post a couple more today, so watch out for those.